Friends, the intraocular lens has dropped into the vitreous cavity in this case. Let us see how we can treat this patient. Conjunctival peritomy has been done for about 4 clock hours and now mild weight field cautery is done. Very mild cautery without causing contraction of the scleral surface is done. Now a tracker is being placed in the inferotemporal quadrant. This is a 23Z tracker and then irrigation is attached to this tracker and now a tunnel, sclerocorneal tunnel is being fashioned. The width of this tunnel is about 6 millimeter. We can see good rim of anterior capsule in this case. The surgery, the previous surgery was done elsewhere. The patient has come to me after the intraocular lens dropped about a month back. After making the sclerocorneal tunnel, I made two sclerotomies, one at 11 o'clock, other one at 1.30 o'clock. And now I start doing vitrectomy, anterior vitrectomy through purse planar root. And we can see the intraocular lens dancing. to find out the other sclerotomy. The light pipe goes through the right sclerotomy and irrigating contact lens is placed over the cornea which neutralizes the diapteric strength of the cornea and we can see the central retina. And we can see that the intraocular lens has dropped posteriorly. Before we pull this intraocular lens out of the eye, we must make it free from vitreous strands. If the intraocular lens is entangled with vitreous strands, and if we pull it out, there can be retinal tear and subsequently retinal detachment. So we have to do a very nice vitrectomy. And once the lens is free, we can use only vacuum and hold the lens with vacuum and bring it upward and the light pipe supports the lens and in this case my plan is to place the intraocular lens in the anterior chamber and then remove it and since we have a very good rim of anterior capsule I'm planning replacement of this lens with a sensor multipiece intraocular lens. So after making some maneuvers, I push this lens anteriorly and the haptics come in front of the anterior capsular rim. very nice vitrectomy is done to 
cut all the vitreous strands all around and now I open the tunnel the width of this tunnel is about 6 millimeter so the lens will come out easily I hold the lens before removing the lens I stop irrigation place visco fill up the anterior chamber with visco and then hold the lens with a stout Macpherson's forceps and pull it out and then a sensor multipiece intraocular lens is being placed in the sulcus the best lens for sulcus is this sensor or technis multipiece intraocular lens the telling haptic has not yet gone in the sulcus now it has gone so now I have gone behind the lens to remove the viscoelastic substance that has gone posteriorly very careful vitrectomy is being done and now the sclerotomies are closed this is 10 o nylon the best suture probably is 9 o nylon better than vicryl sutures And now I remove the visco which was filling off the anterior chamber which was in front of the intraocular lens we could have placed the same lens in the sulcus but this multipiece intraocular lens is the best lens for sulcus since we are doing the surgery I want I wanted the best result for this patient and now my plan is to suture the main wound this is a bit of bilocarpine underneath air bubble let the people constrict and we can judge if there is any vitreous strand in the anterior chamber in this case I didn't use triamcinolone acetate now I'm closing the main wound the sclerocorneal tunnel by a continuous shoelace suture the patient is a lady of about 60 she underwent ear glazer and subsequently probably some mild blunt trauma and since the ear glazer was large the lens has got displaced into the vitreous cavity 
since the anterior capsular rim was nice this is the best possible way to manage this case so we are going to complete the shoelace suture we started from the groove and this is the final bite which comes out from the groove and now this is how we pull the sutures and make the final knot two throws the knot goes in the groove then one more throw and then one more and then trim the threads close to the knot and now I'm going to pull the trocker irrigating trocker out and massage the area with a cotton taped Janssen bud keep it pressed for few seconds and as I remove the bud I find that the the tunnel is closed So no suture required at this site. Now two anchoring sutures on either side of the peritomy. And these are these two are releasable switches. can see that the people is round and there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber and now a subconjunctival injection of gentamicin and dexamethasone so that the conjunctiva gets opposed to the limbus And I just hold it here for a few seconds in this way and it is remains like this and we conclude this surgery thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical acumen be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence.